hello friends welcome to my channel after a long time i'm creating a new video that is also related to sql server so in this video i'm going to discuss with you that some important sql queries like how can we get the list of all the tables which are created in our database and what was the last modified date and when this table was created so for that we can use this query select name as table name then create it and modify date from sys dot tables so you can see here that <clears throat> with the help of this query i can get a list of all the tables which are created in my database okay so you can see here that these are the table name so here we are having all the 27 rows that is 27 tables are created in my database and when it was created and what is when this table was last modified modify means when the structure of this table was last modified so you can use this query get list of all the tables okay friends so now i'm going to discuss with you a new query to get list of all the views suppose we are having a requirement so we need to get a list of all the views and in this query we also know that what is the definition of that views and when this view was last created and when this view was last modified okay so we can also use the same query with some additional columns here suppose we want to know that definition of that view so in that case we can use object underscore definition of object id as view definition and after that same column create it and modify it from sys dot views so you can see here when i'm executing this query object underscore definition is not recognized function so why it is not oh sorry this was some spelling mistake so now you can see here that we have removed this error and now i'm executing this query yeah so you can see that what is the result here in this database i have created two views you can see here that first one is this and second one is this and view definition you can see here that what is the definition of this view and what is the definition of this view this view i recently created today in the morning so you can see here that last modified it and this was the old view okay so by using this query we can get a list of all the views which was created with the definition now we are going to use one more query get list of all the procedures okay so here we will use this query to get a list of all the stored procedures definition of all the procedures and when it was created and when it was last modified Name. Okay. 
then object definition of object ID as USB definition. Definition and then create it and modify it from sys dot procedures. Okay, so now we will execute this query and we'll check what is the result. You can see here, yeah, we got six store procedures okay so you can see here that these are the usb name whatever store processes are there these are the definitions of the store processes you can see the definition how this store processor was created when it was created this is the created column and when this store processor was last modified so you can see here this last modified at column also. okay so I have maintained symmetry of all the columns so that we can learn very easily. All the columns are same and definitions are same. You can check here. Okay. So now I'm going to create one more query to get list of all the functions with their definitions. Okay. So get list of all the functions here you can use this query okay this query are very helpful where we are working with sql server sometimes we know that uh, we need a list of all the functions sometimes we need a list of all the tables after that we can put some of our criteria that what type of tables name or sometimes we know that we need to search this table whether this table exists or not sometimes we need to know that when this table was last modified when this table was last created same thing are for the view store procedures and functions so now i'm creating the query for the function Here we will use one more column type. This one is as function definition. it and the modified it from sys dot objects here we are not using sys dot function here we are using sys dot objects like previous we have used for view sys dot views for procedure sys dot procedure for table sys dot tables so here we are using sys dot objects and here we will put type of the object well, type in what type of object we need fn if and tf fs is for the scalar functions if is for the inline functions and tf is for table value functions so these three type of functions we need so now i'm going to execute this query yes so in this database i have created only one function you can see here that created i have created this function today in the model 
so I have created one function that name is a get full name okay so this will return the name and you can see here that what is the type this is the SQL as the SQL function so why I have selected this column type function because in this we are using three types of the functions okay so for these three types when we will get a list of all the functions then we will get that what type of the function is like scalar function inline function or table function so we will get here type description column right what type of function is this so we can use this query after that as per our requirement we can also manipulate our these queries as per our requirements okay so you can see here that we learned today these important queries like how to get the list of all the tables how to get a list of all the views how to get a list of all the procedures and how to get a list of all the functions with their definition and with their last created it and last modified it. so thanks friend for watching my this session if you need some special query or if you have some requirement of some any other type of query then you can Put your question in this comment box. Thanks for watching this session. And friends, if you like this session, then please uh, comment and subscribe. Thank you.